Greetings, Nick Pocket with Sweetwater. I'm here with our very good friend, Ridu Sazo, who's got the first production model Hi, of Nick. his brand new signature series, Spectre, Spectre Base. Spectre Base, yeah. So tell us about it, please, yeah, my friend. Yeah, this is actually, it's, it's the f uh, first production model that I actually get in my hands because I've gotten prototypes before, you know, and we went through the process of defining what the, the, the final production model was going to be, and this is it. And I'm 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 so excited about it. Um, when I was approached by Spectre, see, I was playing Spectre basses before I actually right. came out with the signature model, and they asked me, Do, "Would you like to have a signature model?" And I said, "Yeah, but I want it to be a little bit different than the average, you know, than the standard Spectre bass, which is great." But then already they, they have that. I didn't want it to be a cosmetic signature model because I've never had anything like that. Every other signature model that I've had, we start from the bottom up and then we create the base. But when it, in the case of Spectre, is you know you, you, you can't really improve much on this beautiful design, which is a a, a legacy design, you yes. know, dating back to the uh, late '70s. You know. So what did you do, and how long did the pro how long did you prototype? How long was the pro the process, the yeah. yeah, well, it, 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 it took a while because, you know, these are uh, built in the Czech Republic. So it's not like, you know, I can go down to, you know, uh, drive Jersey, to yeah. the factory and, and work on the designs like I've done in the past. So it, it had, it, 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 it took a little bit, but we didn't want to, we did not want to release it until it was, it was perfect, you know. And um, so this has been in the work for a couple of years at least, you know, and um, so, what I, I was really, really trying to find what can I bring something unique that is still is a Spectre, right. like, you know, the Spectre uh, player is used to, you know, the feel and, and, and the whole, the, the sound of the bass right. itself. But have a unique, and, and I stumbled upon this, this, this booth at NAMM like two or three years ago, uh, Sims pickups. Uh, made in England, handmade, yeah. everything is made in England. And what I saw these and I said, wow, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Something unique that will retain the, the fundamental qualities of the, of the great Spectre legacy, but add something that the other Spectre bases don't have, which is actually what Sims pickups, how they work is, is that right now the red light indicates that this is a split pickup setting, okay. like you find on a precision, basically. Gotcha. Then you go to the green, which is a single coil setting, and then the blue will be a humbucker. So you're using the four, the four pickups that are actually built into this gotcha. unit right here. Yeah, there's four different magnets in here. That, gotcha. Yeah. So, but then what the, what it does is creates all these different possibilities. Like this would be a let's say you just turn on the volume for for this pickup here. That is your, your precision, your pick, your up. Right? It still sounds like a Spectre, but a Spectre with a, a, uh, a, a, a split pickup, right? Now, once I add the tone pump preamp, which is active preamp, I start adding tone to it, then start sounding more of like a modern instrument. Especially in the highs, you know, the high frequencies, which I can actually bring all the way. That's just one pickup. Now, let's say I want to add a single coil to make like one of those, you know, the, the very popular PJ combination of a pickup setup right here. So I turn on this green, I bring up this volume. Now this is part of the tone. Both pickups are working now together. You can hear and feel that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's subtle, but it's very noticeable. Yeah, one of the you know you know what I've done in the past because I you know I've I've been playing the uh, the prototype and I've taken it into the studio and in in the past I would show up with like three different bases, you know, a precision, a jazz, and something with a humbucker, you know, just to give the, the producer right. and the engineer some, some variations, you know. Now I can just show up with one bass because I can get all these different tones, you know, like if you're not, if, 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 the, if the, the track needs a certain frequency, you know, a certain sound for the bass, I can just dial it in here. Yeah, because it's quite remarkable how many options you have with the, with the three separate pickup options in each one and then combining the two and then adding the, 
the activeness in and out. Absolutely. And and speaking of active, you know, this is uh, one of the things that I really love about the tone pump is you can actually go inside and actually attenuate the aggressiveness so of how much the boost you've got? Right. Yes, you can do that. I mean, right now it's pretty much, you know, very mild because, you know, this is this, that's the setting that actually came from the factory gotcha. with. And yeah, this bass, you know, I really just pulled it out of the case and I'm, I'm just playing it, you know, so it comes up really well set up. And if you get, you know, if you purchase this bass from Sweetwater... Which I will, of course. Of course, you know. I, yeah, I, it's my to-go place to buy things, especially because of the 55 point that any instrument goes through. Right, the and I mean, process, I, I purchase yeah. instruments here and it's just, it's, it's remarkable, you know, that I can actually, it arrives at, at my home and I take it out of the box and I can go on stage with it, I can go in the studio and record with it immediately because it's ready to go. Check yeah. will be in the mail shortly, thank you. <laughs> oh no, it's oh. true, it's true. I mean, no, you know, I mean, what, what other store offers that? To my knowledge, none. None, none, no. So, so I mean, you know, so it's, if you get this bass through Sweetwater, it's gonna come, you know, it's gonna arrive at your destination in the best playable condition you, you can even imagine. A few more quick questions, by the way. So 24 frets, neck profile. Yes, the neck profile is a standard, you know, uh, uh, specter so neck nice profile. So, you know, you, you can switch over from the, whatever other specters you might own and just, you know, it, it's gonna feel very familiar. But one of the things that we actually added to this bass also is because if I see a fret, I wanna play it, you know, and certain basses, uh, certain specter models, they, they don't have full accessibility to all the frets. So what we did is, we scooped this horn lower, and at the factory they decided to, you know what? Let's just let's just move this the planks down a yeah, bit. It's a neck through, isn't it? Neck through. Yeah, design, it, it, so. it is a neck through. It's a neck through, not a bolt on, which I love. And but what what happened was they added more mass here, which means that you have more tone, more bass. So win win, more accessibility, more tone, and more wood. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's 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 fantastic. I love it. You know, so you. You know, really easy to reach these notes. So, you know, you're getting full 24 fret accessibility. Could you flip it again? Let's just look at the back cabinet. Yes. And oh, wow, like that, yeah. Like easy access to the battery. That's great. Also. I hate when you have to yeah, I use know, a screwdriver I know. Yeah, just I'm, before you go on stage. I know, I'm one of those guys that is really like, you know, if I have an active base, I must make sure that the battery is at full, yep. you know, capacity every time, you know, especially if you go in the studio because that really affects your tone. And, uh, but anyways, you know, getting back to, to the EQ and the volume and all the possibilities that this bass has, it's, it's become my, my, it's like an army, Swiss army switch, you know, switch yeah. blade. You can, you can use it for, for multi-purpose, yeah. multi-styles of music, you know. If you need more of that aggressive modern tone, you know, you can rely on the, uh, on the tone pump to deliver that and you know use whatever configuration of pickups you want you know even du dual split pickups right which are actually becoming a little bit popular now i've seen a lot of manufacturers come up with that but then if you if you purchase a base with dual split you're stuck with that yeah. right. that's that's the town the tone you're going to get from like it say it's swiss army yes yes and and this with with this base you can go okay well you know in this gig i'm going to use the dual split but then in the next week maybe i'm going to go more for a humbucker you know active humbucker which is a very very posh expensive tone yeah you know, from yeah. certain bases <laughs> you know? so this could almost be called the sas base the swiss army sarza that's right <laughs> i like that Just Send me a check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what we've talked a lot let's hear this yeah When I was playing with Ozzy, I was using a music man. And one of, the, you know, certain songs like, let's say, Mr. Fowler, which was actually recorded with passive bass by Bob Daisley. Right, yeah. But, you know, one of the things, when, when I joined Ozzy, I'm, I'm playing in one of the loudest bands ever. Of course. You know, especially because of Mr. Randy Rhodes, yeah. you know, who had multiple Marshall cabinets with uh, JBLs or Altex. Yeah, well, Altex, I think. Altex, yeah. yeah. And it was loud. So I needed to, to have the bass, the frequency sit in a certain position. So that was the, like the first time that I actually started playing with an active 
humbuckers. I was a music man now, but I can actually replicate that tone with this bass. Yeah, of course. You Probably. know, because I was using a saber, which meant two music man saber, two humbucker pickups. So, you know, so. So that tone right there is basically what I had back in the day when I was playing with Ozzy, you know. And, you know, and again, I, I, I added all the treble, sure. you know, on this because why not? It's there, it's <laughs> you want more, yeah. more of everything, you know, but back in the day. But, but I'm just replicating the spirit of things the, the way that we was, you know, like when you play with Green Reaper. Right. Yeah. It's the same thing. Eleven. Yeah. Everything to 11, you know, yeah. which sometimes it might overload the cabs. But, you know, uh, right now I could just go back there and turn, you know, tweak a little bit the EQ of that and and, and make it work. Uh, I know. But if I wanted to go really old school, I just blend. I'll take the uh, I, I, I can do two things. Back in the day when I was in Miami, the, the Jacko tone was right. very popular, which is basically just using the, the rear pickup, a single coil of a fender. Of course, he had a fretless, but just like roll back, roll back the tone and get there. Get more of that third, you it's know what there, I mean? Yeah, well, and, and of course, you know, it's a tone that sits in well with certain style of music. Right. You know, but that's what the whole thing about this bass is. It's the versatility of it. You know, it's not just a one tone instrument. Right. It has multiple tonal possibilities, you know. And uh, if I want to go with the, the typical precision and then jazz pickup. With something like this. So you get a lot of the, uh, again, you know, live, either through the PA or in the studio, you're going to hear that frequency. Stick. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, nice, you know, very posh. Posh indeed. <laughs> so there we have it, my friends, the new Rudy Sarzo signature Swiss Army bass. Plays great, sounds great. It helps you for him, by the way. Hopefully there's a lefty available. But if you want more information, go to our website, or better still, call your sales engineer at Sweetwater, yeah. and they will Actually, guide you through it. this one right here that I'm playing, if you act now, you can get it. Because this, I'm actually playing the store base. This is not something that I brought home from ah. my house. This one right here, available, right here at Sweetwater, and only at Sweetwater Music.